your ear. Big, long, deep breath on phase one. And phase two. There you go. Excellent. Give yourself a hand. Okay, have a seat. So, there's a Tai Chi move motion called calming the ocean. You've learned the mechanics of it, and you've learned how to breathe with it. Okay? So that's something that you can do each and every day if you wanted to practice a little bit of Tai Chi. You now have the first motion, and it's called calming the ocean. The reason why it's called calming the ocean is because in Tai Chi, every motion in Tai Chi can be used for self-defense as well. So if I was in this position here, and there was a punch coming in towards me, I could take my arms and knock it out of the way with this motion. So the rough ocean is the punch coming into me, and what I'm doing is calming the ocean by knocking it out of the way. So everything has also a self-defense application. Now we're not here to talk about self-defense because it's a stress management seminar, but that just gives you an idea that all Tai Chi motions can be used also for self-defense applications. Okay, now for some people, their personality demands something faster. Their personality demands something a bit more rigorous. And for that, we talk more on the martial arts side where there's faster movements, kind of like a boxing or something like that, which for me as well, when I was younger, as a teenager, I had difficulties at home. My father was an alcoholic, so it caused a lot of stress in our environment, and we had to deal with that. So what happened was I used to use meditation to help me to calm myself, but I used to use things like Tai Chi and what I'm going to show you next to help get out my frustrations, to help get out any repressed anger that I had. And instead of hurting anybody with it, I chose to use this. Something like this at a martial arts school that I went to. We had hanging bags too. And the reason I chose to use something like this is because that's what it's made for. It can take lots of abuse. You know, and it just says, yeah, okay, give me some more. Because I'm made for that purpose. All right? So what I'm looking for is who would like to be a volunteer for 10 seconds? Just 10 seconds. What would you like to do? We need somebody. What, what do you need to do? All you're going to do is you're going to hit this for 10 seconds. That's it. I'm going to hold it, and you're going to hit it. Okay? So what I'm going to do... No, just your, just your, your arms for now. Okay? Okay, so... Have you ever hit anything before? Oh, no. Okay, so you're going to make a fist like this. Okay? Yeah. The other one, too. You're going to use your other hand, too. Good. And you're just going to hit right into the, anywhere on the pad. When I say go, okay? I'm going to count from 10 down to 1. Her job... Her job is to, is to keep going for 10 seconds. Don't stop. She's got to keep going until I get right down to the number one. Okay, can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can do whatever you want or you can do whatever you want. Okay? All right, here we go. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, keep going. 6, keep going. 5, 4, 3, keep going. 2, 1, stop. All right. Congratulations. All right. All right. A, right? She was able to release. B, she has a big smile on her face. She's having a good time. Okay. And C, she got a good workout. Even if, okay, so let's just back up now. We have learned in this seminar, okay, some very valuable information. First of all, we have learned the different ways that stress impact us from the different circumstances, events, causes that impact us in our life. Okay? Such as traffic, relationship stress, financial stress, work stress, traffic stress, pollution stress, anything that can have an effect on us physically or psychologically. Okay? We've also learned the damage that unchecked stress, stress that is not balanced out and managed can wreak havoc on our body. Chemically, we know the hormones now that can create problems like cortisol, Okay, we know that it can increase our blood pressure, it can increase our cholesterol, it can increase many different things that wreak havoc on our internal pathways like our arteries and our organs. So, we need to balance the stress out. We need to relieve it and we need to manage the stress that we're never going to be able to do anything about. Some stresses we just can't, they're going to be there. Okay? The last thing that we learned was how we can do that. How can we manage stress? Well, we talked about meditation. We talked about deep breathing. Anybody, anybody, anywhere, you have two minutes each day that you can practice that from any position, standing up or sitting. So there's no excuse. 
No excuse why you can't practice that deep breathing at least once, even two times a day. Four minutes a day for twice a day is not a huge chunk out of your day, but it can make a big difference for your body, okay? Other forms of stress management, of course, we talked about, which is Tai Chi, which is a bit gentle, and you can work it out as a, like a moving meditation. More rigorous exercise is like boxing or martial arts. That can help out. Also, humor can help out. When's the last time you rented a good comedy movie so you could laugh and laugh and laugh? Because laughter is good for you too, okay? When you get to the point where you take yourself too seriously, you need to laugh at yourself. Because if you continue to take yourself too seriously, that's too much stress. So laugh a little bit. It's, you know, if you do something that's uh, awkward, laugh at it and say, oh, that's just me, oh well, you know, another thing that happened. Just relax and laugh and try not to take it too seriously. Otherwise, you create more stress. So there you go. There is some vital information in relation to what you can do to help yourself out, to help other people in your life out as well. Now, I'm gonna leave you with my website, I'm actually in the process, I've just finished writing a book, and my book is going to be out at the end of this month. You can actually get a free excerpt from my book at this website address, www.your, Y-O-U-R, inner, I-N-N-E-R, potential, P-O-T-E-N-T-I-A-L, dot com. Okay. I'll say it again. Okay. So it's www. Your. This is all one word. Your. Y O U R. Inner. I N N E R. Potential. P O T E N T I A L. Dot com. Okay. You go there. Your inner potential. Your inner potential. Is that one word. Yes, it's all one word. All together. Okay. Your inner potential. You can go there, you put your email in, as soon as you put your email in, then you'll be notified, okay, that you'll be able to get the download. And the reason we do it that way is because we don't want to, you know, there's no spamming or anything that happens on this. Now the other thing too is if you're on Facebook, I hold from time to time free meditation classes where you can learn more about meditation and you can bring your family if you want to do that too, okay? If you're on Facebook, I send out um, events that I'm, when I'm in town, when I'm not traveling, I send them out and where they're at, which is usually at my clinic. So if you want to become a part of my group, my meditation group on Facebook, go to Facebook, sign up if you haven't signed up, it's really easy, just put your name in, and then go to groups and search groups, and what you're looking for is a group called meditation, hyphen, awareness, hyphen, satori. And Satori is spelled S-A-T-O-R-I. Okay, so one more time. On Facebook, you go to groups, and you search the groups, and you put in the name meditation, and then a dash, a little hyphen, okay? Awareness, another dash, hyphen, and then Satori, S-A-T-O-R-I. You will come to me. I'm in a picture with a bunch of candles. S-A-T-O-R-I. Satori, S-A-T. O -R -I. So it's in, in Facebook? It's in Facebook, under groups. Okay. Yes. You will see me, okay? The, the picture for the group is me in a martial art uniform in meditation position, okay, with a bunch of candles behind me. Okay, and that was taken in my martial arts school. So, when you become a part of that group, I will email you out the different meditation events that I do and Tai Chi events that I do as well. And many of them are for free. So you can come and join. It'll say free meditation this weekend from this time to this time. Just let me know that you're coming so we know we have enough space. So you'll be able to get on that list. And also, uh, when my book is released at the end of this month, you will also get an email saying that my book is out and you can get it. But you can get that free excerpt at your inner potential. Where's your office? My office is at uh, just down Islington, right at the desk. Yeah. Just one stoplight west of Islington. What is that? What is that? Building number? What is that? Four eight nine five B. Four eight nine five B. Is that the intersection? Is it the intersection at Dundas and Islington? Cordova and Dundas. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay. Now my phone number for my office is four one six six nine five. 
7272. And once again, phone number from my office is 416-695-7272. My name is Terry. Terry, T-E-R-R-Y. Okay, Terry. Okay, got it. Okay. Hodgkinson, if you want my last name, H H O D G K I N S O N. Hodgkinson. G is in Gore. G is in Gore. H O D is in David, and then G is in Gore. Then K I N S O N. Say again. Hodgkinson. Yes. Okay. All right, and then, so that's basically what I have for you today. Please get on the internet and make yourself a part of those groups so that you can get the automatic uh, updates. And we'll look forward to seeing you again. And uh, may you have a great day. Get you too. Stress-free, or any stress managed. Stress-free summer. Okay, there you go. Thanks, ladies. Been a pleasure to have you.